this is part two of today's message. And so um, if you go check out part one, it's about when you think that your twin flows are your total curveball, you think you're at union, and then suddenly something comes in to completely uh, put you off the track. And you know, that's how, that basically is to help elevate your soul. Even though, because remember, the soul journey is totally different from the physical 3D journey. And so that's why it feels extremely uncomfortable because it's the caterpillar and the butterfly situation, the chrysalis and the butterfly. Uh, and so um, just wonderful how spirit works. Basically, I've just been to my spin class as the last video is uploading. And in the spin class, it was really, really tough class. And exactly the same as the analogy that I used this morning around the mountain. Um, just when I thought, oh my God, I just need to turn, you know, basically make my, um, the, the, tar the, turn the gear down so it's not so heavy. Then my guidance was like, no, kick, kick in, right? Yeah. So use your twin spirit to help you get up that next bit. And as I use the twin spirit, call in my twin spirit to help me like push on through. Basically the song that comes on is <laughs> about the water and the last letter from today was about the waterfall and you are is it the water and you are in the flow <laughs> so again it was like that wonderful confirmation and as that happened as i kicked in and used the twin spirit energy the water and the flow song came on you are it basically the lyric was you are in the flow and uh and then i happened to look the lady in front of me had a towel and on the towel it had a number and it was 229. Now, somebody had made a comment on the video yesterday to ask to have letter 229 read out. So, I'm going to read letter 229 and this is how magical this is because this is just, it is a letter from somebody's higher self. Um, and this is what we are guided to do. So. I want you to take care of yourself. Above all else, you need to look after you. Get some rose quartz and put it in your bath when you bathe and then ask for the goddess in you to come forward and bring you into your full goddess power. Every night, place the rose quartz under your pillow and ask for it to fill you with unconditional love. Ask for love and light to fill your cells when you are sleeping. Place the rose quartz in your bath every time you bathe. Remember, you are a goddess and can call in the truest essence of your goddess energy now. You are expanding into your power, your true calling and your true embodiment of goddess energy. <laughs> well, when I saw this, because I actually read this yesterday, so when I saw it on the woman's towel, um, right when uh, the song came on and it was like you're in the flow and you flow like water I just had to share it because this is the message they're wanting to say it might feel like you know you're depleted and you're exhausted and you're just like I just can't take any more but this is what it's saying it's now the time is to really look after you because you're Basically, you are uncovering more and more of the goddess within you. And that goddess knows that she's come to be with her God, right? God, goddess, energy within, the marriage of the divine union, the sacred union. You're here to bring that spiritual connection into the physical, right? And, and that's the message. You know, that's a really strong message today to say... Don't fall off the path, you know, keep going. It might feel extremely challenging. Um, and it is extremely challenging. There's no getting away from it. It hurts like hell sometimes. It makes you feel crazy sometimes. It makes you feel totally... That's the other thing, you feel isolated because most of your friends and family don't understand. Um you know, all of those things, you know, the journey of awakening is sometimes a really lonely one at the same time as realizing you're connected. So it's like the two sides of the same coin. It's the, you know, basically I always think of it, the cosmic joke, you know, as we progress and as we elevate, 
um, we kind of feel, you feel different. I mean, you are different because you see things that other people don't. And so, yes, in a way that can be isolating, but on the other side of that, it's absolutely magical. So this is the message. I want you to take care of yourself. Above all else, you need to look after you. Get some rose quartz and put it in your bath when you bathe and then ask for the goddess in you to come forward and bring you into your full goddess power. Every night, place the rose quartz under your pillow and ask for it to fill you with unconditional love. Ask for love and light to fill your cells when you are sleeping. Place the rose quartz in your bath every time you bathe. Remember, you are a goddess and can call in the truest essence of your goddess energy now. You are expanding into your power, your true calling and your true embodiment of goddess energy. So, just like the mountain analogy, you're going over a peak and you feel deflated because you're like, no way, I'm still not at the top of the mountain. But you start walking, you start getting back into the vibe, you start getting back into the step and you're just like, yeah, I'm just plodding along, going to carry on going. Suddenly you start to see the, you know, the, the scenery around you, everything starts to get better. Just like this is saying, you are expanding into your power. That's what you're doing. That's why this is happening. Um, because it elevates you, because you have no option but to really, really, really dig deep and just go for it. So that's the message that's coming through so strongly today, is dig deep, go for it, trust that you are a goddess, that goddess, god, goddess, it's the both, it's the marriage of both of those energies are coming through you. And so you're here on a purpose, on a mission to bring that physical into the physical world um and that's amazing so yeah it's gonna be hard um but keep on going because you're not on your own that's the biggest thing you are so not on your own just showing here this is this is what's so amazing that somebody made a comment on the video yesterday asking for letter 229 because that's the one that we clearly needed to hear today because it's all about you it's all about your goddess power you growing into who you truly are, the truest essence of you. Um, and really, really knowing that you are expanding into your power. Oh my God, that's so brilliant. The email that I've just got, <laughs> the email that I've just got, the subject of it is God asks for rap. <laughs> so there you go, I can't rap, but it sounds like he's wanting to, you to know that yeah, you can expand into your power which does sound a bit like a rap. So there you go, brilliant, I love that. There's an amazing sync, right? There's, this is the thing. And that's so, what I said, <laughs> you're not getting all these messages from the universe, God, source, whatever, and your twin spirit, because they're fucking with you and they're thinking, oh yeah, let's send you down this track and you know, do this for years and years and years. And then suddenly you'll be like, uh-uh, no, that's not your path. No, it's all happening for a reason. So trust, 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 trust. You are expanding. It's happening for a reason. You're growing. You're strong. You are awakening the God Goddess within you. And by you being strong, remember the other thing is you're one energy body. So whatever you're doing, it's having an impact on them. One of the things that happened to me is when I said I can't see my twin again, um, and he changed his his <laughs> he changed his email and stuff. And this is at the time, and I was so hurt by that because I thought, God, you can't even why are you doing that and of course because he wasn't in the right place he couldn't bear hearing from me or seeing we've always had this thing we've never ever um let each other onto us so not because neither of us actually do social media apart from for work but we've kind of always known not to do that because i think we both knew inherently that that would upset us and so we just never have but the one thing he did do is he changed his email so I couldn't, so he, he obviously didn't want to see my emails to him. Um, and I, not that I sent him a lot, but just like friendly emails every now and then just to, you know, have a catch up, like a, like a pen friend, you know? And of course at the time I was so hurt, but now on reflection, I totally understand that because he wasn't in the right place and he didn't want to hear what I was up to. And of course he didn't because it's not, it was because it upset him to see that, right? 
and so again that's you you need to if that is happening again re look at it from a different perspective um because it is it's not because they want to block you because they don't like you uh it's because they can't deal with it at the moment as they are progressing on their journey like for i would not be able to deal with seeing my twin and what he's up to i just wouldn't want that because it would upset me and i'd rather you know be on my journey with him knowing that we're going to come together because it's part of the bigger mission and i would rather concentrate my energy on you know on you know my journey of my soul and really understanding and appreciating that and then being compassionate both ways right but at the time you know that's taken me again all of these things this doesn't happen overnight uh i was really upset um but then i saw it in a different from a different perspective and i kind of understood so again I hope that helps and just an amazing message today, but a really strong message, very clear to say, just stay on the path. It's okay. You're on the right track. All right. Take care. Bye.